Hello, it's 18715 Artemis, and we're going to be showing you in this tutorial how to set up your control hub and expansion hub. If you're wondering how to set up your expansion hub and expansion hub, like two expansion hubs, I'll leave a link in the description on a very good tutorial because currently we do not have the resources to show you on how to do this. So I'll be showing you with the control hub and expansion hub and the Android phone with the driver station. Okay, let's begin. So some of the important things that you're gonna need is an expansion hub, oh, sorry, a control hub. Some of the things you're gonna need is a control hub, an expansion hub, a uh, black, white, and blue cable. This should come with both uh, when you buy one of these, a power cable, a battery, and your Android phone. And you also need an extra power cable to connect these two. So the first thing you wanna do is connect your power cable to your battery like so and then you want to take this end and plug it into the um, control hub and then you'll know there's power when this led turns on so the next thing you want to do is give power to our expansion hub so what you want to do is take this power cable on the side plug it in and take this and plug it into here. So this will give the expansion hub power. And now to transfer data, we're gonna take this black, white, and blue cable that came with your kit. And you're gonna plug it in this specific spot, the RS485 spot. I'm gonna plug into there and then plug into the RS485 spot right here. So once we've done that, you're all good to go. So what we're expecting is when you have this green light, that means the control hub has successfully emitted a Wi-Fi signal that you want to connect to with your phone. So on your phone, I want you to look for a Wi-Fi. So we're gonna look, and here we go. Here is our specific Wi-Fi, 18715RC. So we're gonna click this and we're gonna type in our password, which I will not show. Okay, as we can see now, we have fully connected to the Wi-Fi. So we're gonna go to our FTC driver station app, click this, and we are successfully in the app. Um, to be able to actually control your robot, you must take code, send it to your control hub, and then that control hub will emit a Wi-Fi signal, and that Wi-Fi signal is connected to your phone and how you actually control it is through controllers. So let me show you. So we have these Logitech controllers that come in, I believe, one of the kits that you can buy. And what you wanna do is get an adapter like this that takes the USB and converts it to micro USB. And when you plug this in, it should pop up some controllers here. So now you're thinking, why aren't the controllers popped up? So what you need to do is first you want it set on this mode the x mode so make sure that's on that first then you're going to click the start button and the a button so when you click that you look at the there okay we're back we had a bit of technical difficulties i had my old phone that was still connected to this so i just had to unpair it so now let's try this again so if i click start a settings go to this something's a bit off i think it may be oh here we go so I just unplugged it and plugged it back in and it says open FTC driver station when this use it. Yes. Okay. So now if I go start A, yeah, there we go. And here we go. And if I input anything, it will light up green. So this is how you connect your controllers. So you want to take your controllers, take those USB and plug into some USB to micro USB 
and these are pretty easy to find you can get them at your local walmart or something like that but that is something that a lot of people ask me so the steps that i took were make sure you set it to x and then click start in a and make sure you just unplug this wire and plug it back in and it'll prompt you with some like uh permission and just click okay and there you go so we have controller output on our thing now so now we've set up our basic environment with our control hub to expansion hub emitted the wi-fi signal and connected it to the phone so in the next video we are going to be teaching you how to plug in your hardware like your motors your servos and all that and then we're going to be teaching you on how to code those uh, specific hardware so that's what we're going to do in the next video so stay tuned and we'll see you next time